Energy is what's needed to make things happen. But do you ever have days when your energy just seems to run out? Energy is the capacity to do work. No energy, no work. So he can't go to work on an egg. There's energy stored up in this box and in these. How can you tell whether something holds stored energy? You can't see stored energy you can only see what happens when it's released. You can't see the energy here either, unless you can find the right way of tapping into it. There's energy in moving air. Windmills are energy converters. They transfer movement from the wind to the sails. What other sources of energy can we tap into? Converter turns light directly into movement. These converters take in sunlight and produce electricity. Bolt a panel of solar cells onto a car and you can convert solar energy into electricity and then into movement. It's an energy chain. Here's another energy chain. It starts with breakfast. But what are the energy converters? And where's the energy going? work to do. He has to lift two kilograms of water up by two meters. He'll need energy to do it. How's he going to get it? He could try heat. As the air in the flask expands, it pushes the water up the tube. But could you really use this to water a hanging basket? What's the source of energy here? <laughs> An electric pump is the high-tech solution. But 
But what if you need to raise lots of water? And there's no electricity. To lift water up to ground level needs energy and the right sort of energy converter. The ladder is another energy converter. He needs energy to climb up. But what's the conversion? The low-tech method works, but there's still potential for disaster. <laughs> Lift anything up and you put potential into it. Energy is measured in kilojoules. Lifting 10 kilograms of water through 10 meters puts in one extra kilojoule of potential energy. This bottle contains one kilogram of water. They're trying to find out how much energy is released when they jump from different heights. How do you work it out? And do different people release different amounts of energy? Anything that's high up has potential energy. As these coconuts fall, their potential energy is released. And with the right machine, it can be transferred to do useful work. The machine saves his energy. He doesn't have to make his own banana cocktail. But there's more than one way to skin a banana. And there's another way of using the energy stored in a coconut. difference between the two sorts of stored energy. We all need energy when there's work to be done. And the bigger the job, the more energy you need. But what happens if the energy runs out? <coughs> What you need is food. What would you choose? How much energy is there in two slices of butter? They're going to weigh the food, burn it in a chip basket, and use the energy released to heat a fixed amount of water. Party, 13.7. Even once they go through a hole through the minute, then it's to start lighting.
Would you trust this lot to work out the energy in your food? What would you do different to get more useful results? One of the problems is that food doesn't burn well in ordinary air. It burns much better in oxygen. And to get really accurate results, you need to burn it inside a bomb calorimeter. The food will go into this small black crucible. The white cotton fuse will set it alight when it's heated by the electric wire. One shredded wheat weighs about 22 grams, but you don't need to burn the whole thing. When rushed up, a sample is accurately weighed. Then it's compressed into a pellet. Five. Put the pellet in position. Four. Seal the bomb. Three. Put in the temperature probe. Two. Fill the bomb with oxygen. One. Light the fuse. Zero. Nothing seems to happen. But the scale tells her that seven and a half kilojoules have been released from the half gram pellet. So how much energy from a whole shredded wheat? An easier way of finding out is just to look on the packet. So how much energy is there in three shredded wheat? got another thousand kilojoules under his belt. What does he have to do to release the energy? The human body is another energy converter. So what happens to all those kilojoules? Some of them go into lifting the earth. A few end up as music. Come on, baby, do the spade motion. Well, noise anyway. <laughs> but most of them are wasted as heat. Where does all of the energy go to here? And were there more kilojoules at the start than there are at the finish? Put in a fixed amount of energy and you get the same amount back. Energy in must equal energy out.
This is one way of keeping track of the energy. The car starts with its highest point at 20, but it only gets as far as 18, and the energy seems running out. How far will it get this time? There's a bit of noise, but in the end, nearly all of the potential energy is converted to heat. These green light bulbs are supposed to save energy. What happens to the energy that goes into them? The energy source is mains electricity, and it's converted into two things. What are they, and which is which? For every kilojoule of energy put in, 30% is turned into light, the other 70% is wet as heat. How does that compare with a traditional light bulb? These two give out the same amount of light. For every kilojoule of energy put into the old bulb, only 5% ends up as light and 95% is wasted as heat. So the old bulb needs six times as much energy to produce the same amount of light. What about the power station that produces the electricity? How energy efficient is that? This coal is the energy input. The heat from burning the coal is used to make steam for generating power. But even an efficient power station converts only 40% of the energy in electricity. What about the other 60%? Could the waste heat be used as an energy source? Burning fuels to release their potential is never an efficient way to create movement. No matter what fuel they use, heat engines are poor converters. Sunlight is a free source of energy. But huge amounts of energy go into making these cars and their panels of solar cells. What do we mean by energy efficiency? And are solar cars the transport of the future?